Hello and welcome to this Learn Learn tutorial on stepwise refinement. So what is stepwise refinement? Well it's the process of looking at a problem from the top level in the most abstract sense and then you take that problem and you just break it down into a series of steps and you go through all the steps that you need to go through in that program in the general sense and then once you've finished you then take each of those steps and you break them down into substeps. Now I've got them here where this step one breaks down into two substeps, but it could break down into as many as your program requires, depending on the logic of your program and what kind of problem you're solving. And then you just keep going. And then those substeps should break them down into sub sub steps. And you'd keep going as far as you need to go until you get to the point where for each of these substeps, you can actually code a solution to the problem by the way that you've defined it. Okay, uh, now that might or might not make sense, but what we'll do is we'll walk through an example, we'll show you how it breaks down, and then we'll look at how that might be coded in a bit of Python. So, example, let's have a look. How to make a cup of tea? Well, I'd break the process down into four parts. First of all, I'd boil the water, then I'd prepare the cups, then I'd actually brew the tea itself in the cups, and then I would serve the tea to people. So that would be the top level, that's the general kind of general algorithm. And now what I'd do is I'd look at each part in turn, and I'd break those parts down into sub-steps. So I'm not going to go through all of them, but let's have a look at the first one. So boil the water. Well, that in itself breaks down into three parts. You've got the bit where you fill the kettle. Uh, then you've got the bit where you turn the kettle on and make sure it's working. And then finally, you've got the bit of the process where you just wait for the water to boil before moving on to the next set, step in the process. So that's the sub-step for boiling the water. And then, we again, we just break it down. Well, what does it mean to fill the kettle? Well, we need to go through a whole process here where we check to see if there's enough water already in the kettle. And if it is, then we simply ignore all the rest of these steps. And if there isn't, we just go right through this process. So we take the kettle to the tap, we turn on the tap, wait until the kettle is full, and then we turn off the tap, and then we'd go back to the socket to plug the kettle back in. Good. So that's the general algorithm. And as you can see here, we started at the top and we've just broken it down into steps. And I've just looked at one of all uh, along this entire chain here. I've kind of looked just all the way down to about here. And obviously you'd have to break down every single step. There you go. So what would that look like in Python? Well, one way to approach it would be to break it down into individual functions and procedures. So the top level here would be the uh, the main procedure, and I broke it down into four steps. So I just create four procedures or functions, depending on what they're going to do. Um, I'd have like the boil the kettle procedure, the prepare the cups procedure, the brew the tea procedure, and then finally serve the tea. So that would be the main function, and then that would call these sub functions. And then if we go through to the next level, well, we'd have a bit here where we uh, the boil the water, we can check to see if there is water in the kettle. And if there isn't, we just call the uh, fill the kettle function, which would be the next step down. And then after that's done, or if it doesn't need to be done, then you'd turn on the kettle, wait until the water gets the right temperature, and then you'd move on to the next function here, the turn off the kettle, prepare the cups, and then you just pass it on through the process. There we go. So, and then if you go right down to the bottom level, which is the uh, the fill the kettle process, again, you've got these sort of bits here. Well, this might be another function that you'd call, uh, depending on how you're actually setting up your program. Obviously, um, <laughs> we haven't got a uh, an actual function called walk to the tap, but you get the idea. You'd walk to the tap, turn on the tap, you do some kind of logic, and these might even be broken further down in within your algorithm, or if this was an actual Python program doing something, those could be external modules that you're calling uh, functions from external modules. And that's how it looks. So that is how the, um, let's go back up to the top, and then you'd go back up to the next one, prepare the cups, brew the tea, and you just pass it on.
There we go. So that is how stepwise refinement works. So now it's your turn. What you need to do is have a go at doing a practice activity where you design the algorithm and using stepwise refinement for going food shopping. So think about the process of going to your local supermarket. What steps do you go through? The jet start at the very general top level and then break each one of those steps down into sub steps and sub sub steps if you need to. Draw yourself uh, the, the diagram here, this sort of diagram. Use these uh, kind of flowcharty type diagrams. And then finally, break your whole program down into some Python style pseudo code. Don't worry if it doesn't execute. It's just practicing the steps. Okie dokie. So there you go. Uh, if you do like the tutorial, please uh, uh, subscribe and like the video. Thank you very much.